Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is tips on how to make an aesthetic feed or Instagram account because it's been highly requested by both my followers and my comments um, on how I create such a perfect feed and how this all comes together. So today's video will cover editing all the way to finding your own aesthetic. So yeah. So I'm going to use my phone to show you um, how to do it and I'm using my old phone to record so that's why the quality is a bit weird. But anyways, we're gonna start off by I'll show you my feed first. So this is my Instagram and this is my feed and as, as you can see it's very much brown aesthetic it's very much neutral colors um during summer it was more bright but now because it's winter it's becoming more darker so this is my feed and basically yeah this is my profile you know you should follow it but these are my highlights they're literally just sectioned off you know eric loads of random things but yeah so that's my highlights and as you notice everything goes well with each other so the highlights the profile picture everything matches so that's really cool here's some of my posts a lot of these photos are my own such as this one or this one but i'll show you some of my stories because even on my stories um my theme still goes so when I post a video, this is what it looks like and as you can see everything goes together and that's just my aesthetic, I want to have a put together story but I feel like it just looks nice, like all of my stories are all, they're all brown, like they're all na natural tones and I feel like that's important for your feed. So now I'm going to move on to finding your own aesthetic, seeing what works with you and as I said before, this is a disclaimer, please do not use my aesthetic or copy, use my photos. I don't mind using inspirations, you can use the same colours but don't use my photos or you know copy my exa exact profile and like the way I lay it out and things like that. So I, it's completely fine to take inspiration but just a reminder, please do not use my photos or copy my aesthetic. And this is something that took me a long time to figure out and it was only until, when was this? November last year. So this time last year is when I decided, you know what, I'm going to do a brown theme. So it took me quite a while and I will show you my old posts. These are my old posts and as you can see they're different, they're totally different to last, um, to my, my posts right now. As you can see they're very like indie like very much you know there was a trend going around like colorful vibes i mean it was cute but like it didn't match me a lot and i feel like i mean it looked nice but you could see it slowly waking up to the brown but yeah i mean i really liked it but it didn't fit me so what i did is experiment with loads of styles experiment with things that you like do you specifically like do you like blues do you like pastels do you like black and white do you like neutrals like me and use that to like build your aesthetic i guess because i found out that i like browns and like blacks and whites so i use that to build my feed on so that's what you want to do is find a base color or find an aesthetic that you really like maybe it's grunge maybe it's indie maybe it's soft you know i don't really know the names of aesthetics but you know what i mean thing that i recommend you doing is going on pinterest so i have my own pinterest as you can see here you can follow it i'll link it down below or you can see it here but what i do is i have um boards that i saved of all the things that i like so um as you can see if I look on my pins, everything is brown. You don't need to copy this, but like, you should put the things that you like and inspiration on your boards and then reflect in your feed, you know? So as you can see, there's a bunch of browns and blacks and whites. And like, I'm just scrolling through just to show you some ideas, but this is how I build my feeds and sometimes how I look on like what to wear or like what to pose as because Pinterest is a great place. Let me show you if I can photo ideas. I made this ages ago, but obviously this is when I still have my old aesthetic. But you know what I mean? I made a board full of photo ideas, how to take photos, things like that. 
And then other things like I made a bullet journal spread um, to put all the filler photos in but make sure when you use someone else's filler photos to put credit in your like caption or whatever because they are other people's photos but I don't really do that because I post my own photos so as you can see this draws inspiration as well so all of these correlate with each other all of these have my aesthetic in it and that's what we want to do is build from Pinterest and find things that you like I would recommend is to be constant with your feed and as you see before it was like very much random I just posted whatever but if you want your um, feed to look put together I recommend you um, post like things that look nice together so certain color matches like pink or brown so I'm going to show you an example of a feed so I'm going to redo one of my accounts which is my bullet journal account as you can see my my current aesthetic is mixed in here and it looks kind of odd so first i'm gonna archive these oh, i'm really sad to see these go but you know it's fine look how cute these are by the way so these are the two photos i have right now but what i'm gonna do is re use my aesthetic to redo the whole thing so i'm gonna change the profile picture how do i do this oh yeah let's choose one maybe i'll use this one it's cute i guess i'll change my highlights and as you can see my highlights are literally um pink as well but i will change the highlight covers and again this is my aesthetic so these do not straight up copy yeah that's my favorite friend of eric <laughs> Maybe I should have made that the purple page. But it's okay. So now you can see it's kind of being put together. But so this is the app I use to plan my feed. And as you can see, you can like hide things, you can include things and see what fits. So this is what my feed looks like. And before I post anything, I will plan it out one row at a time so that I know what it will look like. And yeah, it's really helpful. You can like delete the post, you can hide the post to see and experiment. So before you post anything, use this app and then it will look way much better. So yeah, I recommend using this app, but because you can only link one account without paying, I'll use a different app. So this is my account so far photo of my bullet journal, this one. And as you can see, it kind of, it kind of matches, but what I want to do is add filler photo. Let's use you. See, as you can see, it looks more put together when you add more. Obviously, when you build your account more, it will look way nicer. Like this. Do you know what I mean? Like, it looks put together because you're planning it out once at a time. It just really looks put together, you know? So you can, like, move it around like this and decide what your feed's gonna be. So I think that's really nice to plan before you post anything because now you know what your feed's gonna look like and you won't worry about it being weird. But yeah, so that's how I redid my account. Okay, another app that I use is called Fonto. I use this to edit my thumbnails and sometimes to do my Instagram stories. Okay, let me show you the fonts I use. So I use all of these. I use Lovera a lot. I use um, the Aurora Pro one I use during my summer videos and recently i've been liking this one and i space out so what you can do is add shadows make it look nicer you know Uh, look how nice Eric looks, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, photos that correlate with it, I guess. Now I'm gonna add this TikTok. So yeah, that is how I would make my account look nicer. I'm obviously going to post more in a bit. I'm going to post this 
later or should i post it now no i'm too lazy to make but you get the point so that's how i would remake an account and no you don't need to do the exact set you don't need to use the exact same aesthetic um find your own aesthetic this is one of my favorite youtubers her account is amazing and as you can see it looks so put together even though it doesn't have one color block it's still put together it still looks nice and that's what i really love Another, she's a filipino content creator and as you can see her feed looks so put together like you can have any aesthetic you want just make sure it looks constant it looks nice and put together but as you can see this is one a great example of look how nice and pretty the feed is like you don't need to copy my aesthetic and it looks so cute and i just love her feed and account hopefully these tips give you some ideas on how to create an aesthetic feed if you have more comments or questions please leave them down below because i will answer more questions because i do realize i think i rushed this quite a bit basically to summarize everything up is to find your aesthetic find something that really is nice something that you live by and as you can see i've turned my aesthetic into my image basically my whole room my whole clothing my whole wardrobe is my aesthetic and finding an aesthetic that is personal to you and that suits you as a person not someone else's not something that you just like found on pinterest like find something that is unique to you and that looks nice and works best for you because sometimes if you copy the aesthetic like mine it might not look the best on your feed you know what i mean so I mean, turn your feed so without having to post hesitantly you can see how it's gonna work every single layout so that's really important just enjoy have fun with your feed i know it was pretty hard for me to explain this because i don't want people to be copying my aesthetic even my even my camera roll is straight up my aesthetic but yeah basically what i do is just pinterest i spent i spend so much time on pinterest and you can definitely tell i have 7k pins that just shows i have I, i'm on pinterest quite a lot so yeah just save a bunch of ideas save you pinterest will be your best friend your for life or your best friend so yeah if you enjoyed today's video make sure you follow my instagram of course make sure you comment subscribe and like that sounds so cringy but hope you have a lovely day or night and see you in the next video Oh